What's up, everybody? I'm going to be answering questions. Fix your Wi-Fi. Yeah, I know. I should have fixed the Wi-Fi. Okay, have you ever noticed if you play Wake, then Drawbar, they follow each other almost perfectly? No, but I'm going to do that as soon as I go home. Are you kidding me? I'm going to take some Goonie Bird and trip out to it like Pink Floyd. Okay. I hope you won't break anything in your body on the way to Moscow. Me too. I hope I don't break anything on the way to Moscow either. Hola, amigo. When's the next Dead by Sunrise going to be released? Never. <laughs> what did I do with my free time when I was injured? Um, I didn't really have very much free time, honestly. Um, I spent most of my time for the first three months, I spent most of my time literally sitting around um, in, in pain. That's pretty much all I did for the first three months. And then, um, and then I just started walking around on it. And, uh, but most of my time, I really, I was spent time in the studio with Stuntable Pilots, spent time when, in the office with uh, LP doing a bunch of band related stuff that didn't have to revolve around uh, performing live. So there's a lot of stuff I did. What's my favorite music video? Uh, Give It Away by the Red Hot Chili Peppers is the greatest music video ever made. Every band should um, look at that video before going and making a video because it's probably the only video that will always be awesome for all time and never suck. What book am I currently reading? I am reading actually a book that's probably going to bore all of you guys. But some of you may take interest in it. I don't know who my I don't know who's out there. I don't know who I'm talking to. So um Ellis Murphy, you look a little young for this book, but it's called Peaceful Parent, Happy Child. Basically, um I wish I had found this book before my first child was born because it would have changed everything. My entire way of <clears throat> parenting would have been changed. But basically the theory is uh, you get rid of um, all consequences and um, you get rid of all basically anything negative, punishment, anything like that, and you replace it with what she calls empathy with limitations. So they're you literally never yell or um, ground kids or spank them or say anything like negative at all. You don't even tell them, hey, don't hit your sister. You don't do that. It's I know it sounds crazy. It's weird. But read it. It'll change your life. I've been doing it for like a month. All my kids are completely transformed. It's like it's changed my life. Uh... Do I like Mexican food? Hell yeah, I like Mexican food. And I don't like people who don't like Mexican food. So if you don't like Mexican food, I don't like you. <laughs> Do I like Slipknot? Yeah, I like Slipknot. But I'll still like you if you don't like Slipknot. That's not like Mexican food. It's not that, I don't take it that personally. If people don't like Slipknot, I'm like, oh, that's cool. You can like whatever you like. If you're like, I don't like, there are a few things. If you, if you don't like my friend Church, if you meet my buddy Church and something about him bothers you, we are definitely not going to, def, you're off my list permanently. And then uh, if you, these are my tests. And if you say, I don't like kids, off the list. And if you say, I don't like Mexican food, you're, you're off the list permanently. Those are ver three very hard things to come back from, for, for me. Can I speak Spanish? No. 
although I did just answer that question in Spanish. So, technically, yes. <laughs> uh, see, I'm like the guy who like narrates to myself. Um, basically, Morgan Freeman reads what I'm reading to me in my mind. So these questions that are coming in, it basically all I get is like one word in because I'm narrating the questions to myself. So it's hilarious. But, uh, favorite football team. I can read that fast. Um, my favorite football team is, uh, my screen went down. But my favorite football team is the Arizona Cardinals because I'm from Arizona, naturally. So once we got a football team, I was very excited to have one. Um, then when I realized that we got the worst football team of all time, I was pretty bummed about it. But I'll tell you what, it makes being a fan of them even sweeter when they become one of the best teams in the league for a long time. And people respect the Cardinals because they are going to crush this year! Hmm. I see if it wants any new tattoo ideas. Any new tattoo? No. You know, after breaking my leg, I think it'll be a while before I get tattooed again because I'm kind of over pain. Pretty much over it. So in, until I can hire a anesthesiologist to take me into a room Michael Jackson me for a minute. I can get tattooed, bring me back from wherever it is, propofol land. Then uh, I can wake up with an awesome tattoo. Probably ain't going to get tattooed anytime soon. Leave out politics, guys. I'm not going to talk politics or religion or like anything crazy. We're not getting deep here. Um, do I like reggae? I love reggae, as a matter of fact. I would consider myself... as close to a suburban, uh, um, uh, middle-class, white kid from Phoenix could be to a Rastafarian that there was in my day, okay? I had some, I had some serious dreadlocks. You guys should have seen me. I... Me and my friends, okay, and I'm, not, I'm telling you, my closest friends and I in high school had a little group of guys. We all listened to reggae. We all grew dreadlocks. We all pretty much practiced Rastafarianism. We, I know some of those guys are still into it. And uh, it was great. All that mattered to me was uh, my skateboard, playing music, going to shows, um, that was about it. I only took jobs that I needed to pay for whatever bills I had. And if I could pay my bills with a crappy job, then I did that. And I did whatever I wanted to with the rest of my time. It's fantastic. I love reggae music. Huge influence on my life. That whole lifestyle was a huge influence on my, mute, on my artistic lifestyle as well. <clears throat> Hello. Hello from Belarus. What usually inspires you when you write songs? And uh, um, you know, life throws a lot of things at you. There's never, uh, I think people may find this kind of strange, um, but then at the same time, they'll realize, oh yeah, he's right. Life never leaves you with the stretch of time where there's nothing really going on, you know? Um, right when you think you've got it all figured out and everything's good, it just comes and kicks you right in the nuts. And then every time you think it can't get any worse and that life sucks and it's never going to get better, all of a sudden, the sun comes a-shining. So, you know, wake up. That's all you have to do to get inspired to write a song. Happy birthday to whoever that was. Hello, goodbye. Um... 
Uh, I, did the uh, STP shows help me get my strength back um, after breaking my leg? They actually really did, as a matter of fact. Um, kept me uh, up to speed with my vocal chops. Um, it was really tough, actually, uh, doing those shows because um, I pretty much shouldn't be doing any of the things that I had been doing. Basically, I mean, I, I, let me take the back. I just progressed very fast, and so... Um, but it was really painful to be on stage, but you know, apparently my foot likes it because it's doing really great now. So yeah, I think those, uh, those shows helped me out a lot. Uh, I'd like to tour with Muse. So, uh, Linkin Park fans, I think you guys, if you want us to tour with Muse, whatever bands you want us to tour with, you should go to those bands fan sites and just inundate them with tell your band to tour with uh, with Lincoln Park, tell your band to tour with Lincoln Park. Because that's pretty much the only way it's going to happen. Um, I did see the Metallica guys though in Vegas and just so you guys know I did run into uh, Lars and James and I said we need to tour again and not just the US like we should just do like a whole world tour where we just go out and it's just us and we can do as many dates as we feel like it whenever we feel like it I think they were into the idea so you guys should go bug them as well any interesting stories from great ace times oh boy geez no <laughs> Is there a place I've never been, but always wanted to go? Um, I've always wanted to go, I want to go to Bali. I want to go to Fiji. I want to go to any of those places where you, where it looks like you have everything you want, but it's on a, in a hut over the water. And I want to sit there with, just me and my wife for like at least five days with nobody talking to us. That's what I want to do. I have not done that yet, and so that sounds like a great idea. So whoever sent that idea in, or that question in, thank you. Tour with Eminem, that would be awesome. I agree. Um, we should tour with Eminem, so you guys should be calling Eminem pe Eminem's people and telling them to tour with us. I doubt we'll ever play Easier to Run ever again, even though that's your favorite song. So you're going to have to find a live track of that one. Because that's about as close as you're going to get to. Favorite TV show right now? Oh, man, there's so much. Are you guys, is everybody out there like really into television? Because I pretty much, that's, it's my life. I, I pretty much will watch TV or, or sports. Sports, TV, that's about it. It keeps me sane on the road because I don't really do anything besides work out and eat on the road, so I watch a lot of TV. My favorite show um, right now, one of them is Hannibal. I don't know if you guys watched that one. Um, probably one of the most beautifully shot TV shows of all time, and it's just disgusting. Just disgustingly gory. Um, and... Uh, but uh, favorite show of all time, man, I'd have to say the most fulfilling series has been Breaking Bad. Um, I've had a lot of shows that were like really, that I really liked. Battlestar Galactica, I don't know if you guys watched that one, um, came out probably 10 years ago. Uh, they had four seasons and kind of, kind of right when they, um, they, they shut it down right as the, uh, writers uh union strike happened but that probably would have gone down as my favorite all-time show um it was amazing even though they they shut it down fast and shut it down kind of quick it was still a great great series um what else is out there right now bates motel is great pretty much if you're killing if there's a serial killer i watch it <laughs> following following you know something just said 
Something has to stand out for me. Kevin Bacon's awesome, but he's not enough. I don't... The story is nonsense to me. That there is a serial killer who has inspired every other serial killer in the world to be just like him and go doing this. No, ain't going to happen. Serial killers are too vain. They're not going to want to wear the other dude's mask. That's not going to happen. Okay? So, not watch, never watch the following. Probably will not approve of. Um, but yeah, TV, Game of Thrones, man. You know, this is why I binge watch things because I hate what I hate waiting every week and it drives me crazy. So, um, I'm just probably going to binge watch next season of Game of, Game of Thrones the same way I'm going to do Silicon Valley right now because I waited the whole season. Now I can just bam on the way to China and be super happy. You know what I mean? Walking Dead, you know, I watched that for like the first four seasons and kind of around like halfway through season four. It wasn't that I, I just literally stopped caring. I was like, cool, zombies, dude. I just I don't care anymore. Game of Thrones has cooler zombies now. I, mean, I don't even, I've been watching that for four years and I don't even know what's happening with those guys. That's how good that is. Band tour bus. <laughs> we haven't been on a bus in a long time. We should do that again. Um, what was touring with the Mice and Men like? It was awesome. I, I, you know, I wish we could have continued that tour uh, with those guys. So I wouldn't be surprised if we take them out with us again, honestly. Okay. And Rise Against because we, I've been waiting. Okay, here's the thing. I've been waiting to tour with Rise Against for... I mean, since like the second Project Revolution, I wanted to get Rise Against on that on that tour. But we've always been in a situation where it's like they're in, in the studio and we're touring, and then we're in the studio and they're touring. So we finally, 2015 was going to be the year, to finally do this thing. And I had to go break my leg. So we never really even got to tour with those guys. So I wouldn't be surprised if we just kind of figure out how to make that tour happen. That's what I say. We make that tour happen again. And then do it everywhere. I say we do it all over the world. We should have done Carnivores tour everywhere. We should have been touring uh, with my boy. My homies for a little longer. What was the first song I wrote? Oh, man, I don't know. It wasn't very good. I have no idea. I'm doing the chat like this. <laughs> <laughs> How's that, guys? Uh, yeah. Jeez. I'm so dumb sometimes. You know what's funny is uh, when we went and did... Um, when we went and played the Warp Tour, we met a thousand people that day, and every single one of them was like, "When are we? Gonna, when are you guys gonna do um, Project Revolution again?" And then every band we met was like, "Dude, when are you gonna do Project Rev? You gotta put us on Project Rev. That was like the coolest tour when we were growing up." So, you know, maybe that might come back too. The most difficult song to sing is the uh, Star Spangled Banner. Everybody knows that one. You gotta go three octaves on that one. Not many, not many songs do that. And I crush it! <laughs> um, I'm gonna go see Jurassic World tonight, so, um, because, uh, Chris Pratt, is that his name? Mm -hmm. That dude is, I want to be his friend. I'm sure the rest of you guys probably feel the same way, but Chris Pratt would probably make the coolest friend. I think 
I think he's like that, just like he's like that guy. And 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 how cool is it when you just get to be when people hire you to be yourself, and that character can be any character that you're hired for. The guy's got to figure it out. So uh, whatever he does, I'm gonna go see it. And then you put him in a movie with dinosaurs that Steven Spielberg makes. I'm probably gonna see it by the DVD for no reason because I don't even have a DVD player. But I'll probably buy the DVD, and then I'll probably buy it on iTunes, and then. I'll probably buy it on my phone and then not want to upload it to my iCloud or something stupid and then buy it again at home because I'm too lazy. So that's probably how many times I'm going to see that one. I'll probably spend $175,000 watching it. Um, do I like the Food Fighters? I like the Food Fighters. We should tour with them too. See, the Foo Fighters would be awesome. Here's my idea. You guys, tell me what you think. Here's my idea. We tour with the Foo Fighters because they could probably do Linkin Park songs pretty well because they're like, they're pretty, they're good at switching things up. I think we should do a tour, Foo Fighters and Linkin Park, co headlining tour, and there should be a part of this. Like in the transition of the show, we could alternate who closes the night. It doesn't matter to me. I don't care. And we should like play each other's songs. Like a rock off. But in like a friendly way. Not like in a battling way. In like a check this out. Do go back up, back up, back up. And like they do like an LP thing and then we fire back. You know, yeah. almost like a, like, yeah, we could do like a call, like a call out. Shout out. That would be awesome. I did hear Dave Grohl broke his leg. It sucks. Feel for you, buddy. I kind of wish I broke my leg, actually. I do wish. I, I wish I'd actually just broken my leg. If I had just broken my leg, I probably would have been able to finish the tour. I do, it, yeah. Next time, hey guys, next time I choose to break something, make sure I break something like an arm or like a leg where I can just still cruise around. Freaking ankle. If you want to get some, if you want the worst thing in the world to happen to someone, break their ankle like I did. Just do that. Just, just have them, just have them do that. It'll just destroy them. Stupid. <laughs> uh, what am I listening to these days? I actually go to uh, iTunes Radio, and I listen to Electro Chill because I need to chill out. You know what I'm saying? I got two bands, a wife, six kids, three dogs, a hundred fish, three cats, a horse. I need to chill out. You know what I'm saying? So I chill out. I meditate all day. That's any spare moment I have, I pull a Brad Pitt and I go between the tanks and I just, <sighs> and then I get back up and then I walk back into the war. Walk back into the war. You know what I mean? <laughs> good scene. Good scene. Thank you. you know, these chats are interesting because I feel like I'm talking to somebody, but there's nobody here. I'll take six kidney stones over breaking my ankle. Maybe I won't. That might suck. Hold on, I'm gonna take that <laughs> yeah. back. I've actually seen them with that. Seen some people. I'm good with that. I'll take that one back. 
Let's see if I'm back. I saw Batman or Superman question. Do I look cooking? Okay, Batman and Superman. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I just got cooking and Batman and Superman, which are two of my favorite things. Well, cooking is one of my favorite things. Batman and Superman better become one of my favorite things. I have very high expectations. Ben Affleck better not suck. Okay. Michael Keaton was awesome. Everybody after that sucked. Christian Bale came back in. He made it awesome. Okay, but everybody knows. Everybody knows Heath Ledger is what made those movies. He made those movies. Okay, so we know it wasn't Batman. Batman was awesome. Heath Ledger's Joker was Jack Nicholson-esque. I mean, it was, it was it was legendary, okay? When do you make a superhero movie and you get an Oscar nomination out of it? Never, okay? So let's just get real. Affleck, you better not pull a Clooney on this one, okay? Or I'm not going to go to any more of your movies. That's all I have to say. Don't pull a Clooney on me, dude, because this is going to be awesome. And The Man of Steel is rad. So you can't drag another awesome guy down with a bad performance as Batman. You guys better beat the living shnikes out of each other. Or I'll punch you in the face when I see you. Um, I'm stoked that Jared's going to be the Joker, too, in... Uh, in um, uh, Squad, what is it called? My brain! Anyways, um, yeah, he's going to be awesome as a, as a secret agent for uh, the, the League of Justice in Doom Squad or whatever. What are they called? Is it Assassin or Doom Squad? Or? I can't remember. My brain doesn't... Schnikes! <laughs> Well, there's, I don't know. I mean, normally I would cuss, but I've been, I'm trying not to cuss so much. Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. That's it. Uh, my, uh, my, my kids would punch me in the face, particularly the superhero comic book fans in my house, which litter the walls and bookshelves of my house. I should know this by now. Do I like Polish fans? Of course I like Polish fans. Okay, for all the people who ask, do you like Brazilian fans? Do you like German fans? Do you like Russian fans? Yes. There's only one type of fan that I don't like, and that's the crazy one who stalks you and threatens people and gets weird. And those people, I don't like them. So if they're from a specific country I don't know, and they all every crazy person comes from... Crazy Landia. I hate Crazy Landia, but everywhere else and all the Crazy Landia fans. But every other country in the world, if you're a fan of Linkin Park, I do like you, so you can all stop asking. Because <laughs> it gets in the way of all the good questions. I get like 75, do you like Poland and Germany and Brazil? Well, I play guitar more. You know, that's a good question. I think there's a few things that are holding me back from becoming an actual guitar player. I would say I am, I guess since I do play a guitar and I can play songs technically, that does make me a guitar player. But I certainly am not talented, talented enough or capable enough technically, skill-wise, to consider myself a guitar player so I'll be doing a lot of writing probably and a lot of work in, in that way on the guitar but really I like to focus myself into doing what I do well on stage which is singing I don't want to I don't want to get in the way of my singing because I'm doing something poorly something else poorly <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean so uh, I doubt I'll be playing a whole lot of guitar on stage 
Excuse me. We should tour a Slipknot. You guys are right. Um, Okay, what kind of dogs do I have? I have a Boston Terrier um, who now is in the stage of life where he has only one eye and he's blind in the other one. Pretty much just farts the equivalent of Satan's breath all day long, uh, because he's just old. He's just an old dog. <laughs> he's an old terrier. And then I have a, a, a pug, um, and he's pretty awesome. He's, he's a little black pug, and he's super cute. And his eyes go in opposite directions. And when he barks, he says, Haba. He literally goes, Haba, 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 Haba. He says, Haba, like a like, like a little old man who smokes cigars. And he snores like a 300-pound man with sleep apnea. Just, <laughs> it's just between the one-eyed farting dog and the little dog with crazy snoring issues, I may, I may actually consider getting my own bedroom just to, just to just sleep at night. Because it's pretty gross, and then I have a um, then I have a golden retriever. That is not my dog; it happens to be my son's dog. But like most dogs that kids want, they become the parents' responsibility. Ooh, so I keep telling him to come get his dog, but it's still in the house. <laughs> Do I, when I think about getting back into acting, I'm always acting. <laughs> yep, I'm pretending to be who I am. I'm actually uh, Larry Mortimer uh, Johansson and uh, from Apachacola, Apachacola, Denmark. Forgot the name of the city, so forgive that. Um, anyways, um, do I prank call my friends? You know. The last time I did prank calls, I was probably in eighth grade, uh, and we were prank calling people, and I was laying on the floor, and I was talk, prank calling someone. My girlfriend at the time thought it would be fun to step on my stomach, and when she did, I farted, and I was really, I got really embarrassed. And so I've never prank called from then, that point on. I don't know why I stopped prank calling, because my girlfriend stepped on my, and I farted in front of her. But that's, ever since, I just... I stopped. I was like, I'm never doing that again. God, that was so weird. I mean, what is what is wrong with me? Um, okay, let's see. Will I do another Saw movie? Oh, will I do another film? You know, I don't know. I think I would need to go study the skill a little more. Um, doing the cameo stuff is fun, but you know, acting, my, 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 my dream when I was a young kid was to be a Broadway theater star. That was my, that was my dream. That was my ultimate goal until um, I got on stage and played music for the first time. And then I was like, I wanna do that. Uh, but, uh, it took a lot of practice and a lot of training and a lot of um, really hard work to be able to be skilled enough to be able to portray a story on stage in a way that got people to really genuinely be excited about it um, and not just be like, oh, yay, look, kids doing cute things or, hey, look, it's our friends on stage. You know, um, The same way that you do with music. You have to really work at it. You can't just go do it because you like it. Um, 
So for me to go be seriously considering getting into another in, and doing a film the way that Jared Leto, our friend, my friend does uh, very well, uh, I would need to go like make sure that I respect that in the same way that you know he respects the music industry and puts the proper time and energy into making that a respectable thing that he does. So um, as much as I would love to do it, I just don't know when I'm going to be able to do that because I love being in Lincoln Park so much and it takes up all my time. So um, yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe down the road when I become more distinguished looking. <laughs> and I think it may have probably pigeonholed myself into character roles because of the way I look now. So uh, it did take the longest part of my day during Saw was getting in and out of my makeup, which took about um, almost eight hours total. So who knows? Make more appearances like that too. Um, yeah, actually, our 20th anniversary is coming up. I think we might want to do something fun. I don't know. We were talking about doing a party or something, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, you know, I like to go into Club Tattoo, especially um, when people don't expect me to be there because uh, I take that very seriously. And so when I go in, um, you know, I'm not the guy from Lincoln Park. I'm, I'm, I'm one of the owners of the business and it's important to me so if people come in and they're looking around they need help I go up and I ask them if they need help and I you know and then of course my employees run around and they start spazzing out because I'm talking to customers and you know I think that they're going to be in trouble or something but um it's it's most it's it, the most fun I have is when I just go in to say hi to Sean or uh, Thora and hang out and uh, people kind of see me in the shop hanging around but uh, yeah we'll be, we'll be definitely making some more you know, kind of band-related stops, I'm sure, in the future at Club Tattoo. All right, guys, as much as I'd love to stay and chat with you guys, I have to get home to my kitties. My little, my, not my cats, my kids. So it's been a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know I always have a great time chatting with you guys. Uh, next time I'll try to come up with something fun, like... Uh, Maybe we'll do like a cooking show or uh, maybe you guys can try uh, doing my workout with me or something and then we'll see how many people puke by the time we're done. Which I did get both my son, who's a varsity football player, and his friend, who's on the varsity football team. The last time they worked out with me, we didn't even finish the workout. High velocity vomiting out of both of them. So maybe we can do something fun with that. We'll see. Till then, see you guys later. Thanks. Bye.